I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 13th of October, 2022, and this is my vlog of daily life. In Central America, I am here in Barrio Escalante in San Jose, Costa Rica, where we have been for two days, and it is only four o'clock, but it is looking pretty dark. We can hear the thunder rumbling. Today has mostly been a utility day. We had things we had to do around San Jose. We're not really here on vacation, um, and I'm not really here to film. I'm just kind of getting this done because I'm able to. So I got up pretty early this morning and did some vlog work a little bit and then had to uh, move into the atrium so I could plug in my devices because uh, I had we don't have a lot of plugs in the room and the kids are trying to charge their stuff and Dominica is trying to charge her phone. So I'm like, I'm just going to the atrium with my laptop and my phone and uh, plugged in there, charged up and worked for several hours. So probably did about a four or five hour work day sitting in the atrium, which is pleasant, like that was nice. And the kids just needed to sleep in a bit. So. Uh, and we went to bed early last night, so I got a fair amount of sleep even though I was getting up early. And uh, so I worked while the kids slept. We had to get up and get moving though, boy it's so dark under these trees, uh, because today we have to go get COVID testing done for the kids. They do not have their COVID shots, they're very hard to get. We're actually trying to figure out at this point how we can get them for them because we're never in a country for the right like schedule to make it possible that has the shots available. We're trying to figure out where they're going to be uh, able to get them. So that's something we're working on. Today, I don't even know what day of the week it is. Today is Thursday. So work went fine. And then it was right about noonish that we grabbed an Uber with the kids and headed out to uh, go do the, the COVID test. Now this morning, before the kids got up, Dominic and I went for a walk. We went to the Cam Cafe or bakery or something, but it's a coffee shop and bakery uh, in El Centro, and that was, or near El Centro. That was really nice. We had a really good breakfast. It was cool because the kids were like well asleep. So we just went for a walk and hung out and enjoyed a nice bit of time at the, at the coffee shop. This is San Jose, there's a lot of hills and it's a high altitude. The altitude is not really that high, but it's enough that I notice it and definitely walking up and down the hills. I'm like, yeah, I need a little bit of air. Uh, so we had a really nice breakfast. Then about noon, we got an Uber, took the kids, went to the Laboratorio San Jose, which is the same company that we used in Liberia uh, in May. We liked them a lot. They were really easy to use, not too expensive. I think it's like, $70 for the kids for the tests that they're required to have now. Dominic and I don't need them because we have our vaccines. Nicaragua does not require that for us, so that's that's quite nice. Something that I've noticed here in, in San Jose is the incredible number of universities everywhere. I don't know why he's honking so much. Like, on every turn, there's another university hiding around a corner. I'm actually going to head up that way. We drove around the city a little bit today just doing our errands, so we got to see more of it. It really is, for the most part, a pretty nice city. Now, yesterday, I had a pro bit of problems uh, doing the filming for you guys. I got as much as I could, which was a bit, uh, but the, the GoPro actually died on me. The, the one battery completely died, the one that I was out with, that's some thunder. Uh, not quite a lot of thunder. And, uh, and, and once I got it working again, um, it, would, it would freeze up every time that I went to do a video. So I wasn't able to video, but it let me do time lapses. So I grabbed some time lapses for you guys yesterday and spent a lot of time during the night trying to figure out if I can get the GoPro to work, really worried about it. It's about two years old, so I'm, and, and you guys know how much I use it. So I don't feel badly that it's wearing out and, and on the verge of, of failure, but it is wearing out and on the verge of failure. So <laughs> Dominica got to see it in action and she's like, you are getting a GoPro 11 as soon as we get back to the States. So yeah, that's happening. I'm gonna turn the, uh, camera around a little bit here so you guys can see we're looking down into the Barrio Escalante down there. This is above Barrio Escalante. I'm not actually sure what barrio we're in, but some beautiful buildings here. I think this is a restaurant on the corner. Such a cute design. It's so America 1960, like California something. And then this is a university, the new tropical university here at the top of this hill. This whole little spot here, especially with the storm rolling in, is just such a cute kind of design of everything i have it's it's interesting very very interesting i'm at the top of a hill hola Hello. <laughs> i'm i'm at the top of a hill 
in town. So there's like no view. Oh, I can kind of turn around. You can see houses through this parking structure on the other side. So you can see how much of a valley there is uh, right in the middle of the city. And some of it is like rivers and stuff coming through the city that cause some of this. I think this may just be a really awesome modern house over here. The Saguaro are pretty cool. I am not walking very far today uh, for a couple reasons. One, we can't upload the videos necessarily. It took uh, a, almost 24 hours of continuous management with the GoPro uploading continuously to be able to get yesterday's videos uploaded. So as soon as we got home last night, as soon as I was done with my problems in the late afternoon, so about four o'clock, plugged in the camera and let it run. So it's probably 20 hours uh, that it was plugged in and uploading and we did not make it the longest of the, the clips from yesterday did not manage to upload. This is a cool tower here at the top of the hill. No idea what it is, but I bet that is a great restaurant at the very top or penthouse or something, but I'm gonna walk down this way so that we don't go too far. And uh, so I definitely don't wanna do so much video that it causes a problem. I really want tonight, uh, as soon as I'm done recording this segment and just a little bit for tomorrow, uh, I'm sorry, for yesterday, we will have done um, coverage for everything we've done so far and uh, should be able to get it uploading and I'm hoping that by tomorrow morning everything will have uploaded and I'll be able to record tomorrow and then we'll take stuff on the bus with us. Um, I'm sure I will forget to talk about this in yesterday's video so today I'm going to talk about we got a car we got it yesterday it is a white 2015 Toyota Corolla sh uh, stick shift which not the most exciting car, but it is exactly the car that I've been wanting. Not necessarily white or 2015, but a Toyota Corolla because they are cheap to operate and have a bit more space than the Yaris, which is what most everybody uses here. Boy, you can see the restaurants and bars across the valley there. How cool is that? What a neat view. So I'm liking San Jose quite a bit. Today was a rough day though. We got the COVID test, which of course the girls just hate doing their COVID tests. I'm not sure why they hate it so much. It's weird because Dominica and the girls find it just unbearable to do the, the nasal swab. And it, for me, it doesn't bother at all. So both of them completely got that from Dominica. I do the test, I don't even notice. Like you could be doing it all day long and I'd be like, whatever. And for them, they like dread it for a long period of time ahead of time. Well, maybe we can see what this building is. We'll, we'll give it a try if I can keep from getting run over. I bet it's just an apartment building now that I'm looking at it. That's what it looks like. Pretty nice. And uh, this is Avenida uh, Quince A. And uh, some cool buildings that way. We'll just go this way. We're again, don't want to go very far. So I'm going to get caught in some serious rain if I'm not careful. Uh, so after doing the dreaded test, we then went for a walk thinking, oh, well, we're really close to downtown. We'll just walk right up and there'll be lots of food and we'll find something no problem. And we'll have a nice lunch because Luciana hadn't eaten anything all day. Liesel had had a little bit of a veggie empanada from uh, the Cafe Cam that we went to this morning. Well, we had no luck finding anything and it was really frustrating. So everybody was getting hangry and low blood sugar and that did not go well. We tried going to, Chana said, I just want a cafe like we went to yesterday. Well, that's loud thunder, but we did not manage to find one. We found something kind of like it, but they didn't have like eggs and stuff that she really wanted. So she got a smoothie, which gave her a little bit of a blood sugar boost, but not very much. So we went walking, looking for some other stuff ended up uh, finding a restaurant that looked really good, but it turns out it had closed, so we weren't able to eat there. She had been looking forward to getting food there, so that didn't work out well. Then we went into Taco Bell because Liesl's been wanting Taco Bell and Dominica needed some food. This was hours of walking around trying to figure out food things. It just did not work out well. We finally got into Taco Bell. They were all excited. There's always food at Taco Bell that everybody likes, and the Taco Bell here totally non-vegetarian. Taco Bell in the US, even Taco Bell in Liberia, Costa Rica, Taco Bell in Guatemala, plenty of vegetarian. But as this one, we go in and almost every item, not the French fries, and they have one thing called a cheesy smelt, which is just a bunch of cheese and a tortilla. And it's not bad, but it's all it is, a bunch of cheese and a tortilla. And that was it. Uh, everything else had meat, even the potato burrito. Potato burritos are not supposed to have meat. I said, okay, potato burrito has meat. Can I get it with beans instead? And they're like, oh, we don't have beans. Or like, you what now? 
Taco Bell in San Jose doesn't have beans. Seriously. So this is not the Taco Bell that we know from the United States at all. Totally different menu, totally different approach. Everything is different. And the super easily the most vegetarian friendly of fast food chains in the US, completely not vegetarian friendly here in Costa Rica. That really sucked. So that was not just a, a difficult day of trying to find food. That was amazingly disappointing because that was Liesl's number one thing that she was excited about coming to Costa Rica to do. So that did not go over well at all. Um, so lots of disappointment for everybody because they were looking forward to some food and just getting something salt. So we got French fries and some cheesy melts, but that did not make people happy. Then we just grabbed an Uber and came back to the chill out hostel, which you can see in the shot here. I'm walking down the hill towards it. It is the orange and yellow place on the left. And uh, we're just gonna hang out there for a few hours as soon as I'm done doing the video now, Dominic and I are heading out to find a bar. We're going to sit out and hang out and enjoy a rainy afternoon. The kids just want to paint or draw or watch their videos or whatever on their own in the room until we head out for an Indian dinner tonight. So we have plans to do something fun. Dominica found a couple Indian restaurants that look really good. So we're going to be doing that later on and calling it a night and then tomorrow hopefully we're, is going to be our museum day that has been the plan we knew that today had to be logistics for uh the COVID test and all that and uh and work was decently busy uh which worked out okay so that is what we're doing and it should be uh should be more fun tomorrow overall overall so today was frustrating but in general san jose is proving to be a really cool city i'm enjoying it a lot my walks yesterday showed me a lot of stuff i want to investigate this neighborhood, big winter, the thunder, pretty nice. The weather is great. A lot of beautiful stuff. The driving is, is outrageously bad. Like people drive fast. What a big thing that's different between Costa Rica and Nicaragua. So many more cars, big expensive cars and people driving ridiculously fast all through the city. That in Nicaragua, things are slow. There's very few cars. It's mostly taxis. The car thing is dramatically different and it takes you a while to figure out that that's what's causing some of it to feel different, but that's really big. The weather also very big. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe, leave your comments, ask your questions below. If you want to support the channel, you can go buy me a coffee. That link will be below. And of course, tell your friends, share in social media. Let's get a few more subscribers on here. It makes a huge difference. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see all of you still from San Jose, Costa Rica tomorrow.